Today I'm going to show you guys how I set the steps per millimeter for the hobbed gear. Now a lot of different manufacturers sell these, but they always seem to come in a little bit of a different diameter. And so it's important to really uh, set this correctly in your firmware so that you get the correct amount of filament to the nozzle. Now if you don't get that right, you're just going to run into all kinds of problems. So let's take a quick look uh, first starting with an overview of what we want to do and then I'll actually show you how that goes. So I am going to try to extrude exactly 100 millimeters of filament starting from this point here and I'm going to make a mark 100 millimeters out on the filament itself. Now you can see that I've got my hob gear and my Bowden set up here and this is going to spin when I, when I set the extruder to run. It's going to pull the filament in uh, past the, uh, um, the idler down here. Okay, so let's go take a look. If you're in repeat your host, you need to first preheat your hot end. And I've got mine heated up to about 204 degrees. Uh, that's where my PLA actually likes to run. And I'm going to set my extrude to 100 millimeters right here. And I'm going to extrude at 400 millimeters per minute, which is fast enough to get the job done, but not so fast that it's going to strip the filament. Next, I'm going to use a calipers. And you can see that I've got it set to close enough to 100 that it, uh, you know, it basically insignificant, the little half half millimeter there. And if I just do this, since I've only got one hand for now, you'll see that that's set. So you just make a mark on your filament. If you have light colored filament, you can use a black Sharpie. If you have dark colored filament, it's best to use a silver Sharpie. All right, so everything is heated up at the moment. And uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna hit this button right here, as you can see. And you'll notice when I do that, and it looks like it did just a little bit too much. So I'm going to have to modify the firmware. This is how you do it. As long as you've got EEPROM settings turned on in your firmware, you can come to the config, pull down, and go to firmware settings. And you'll notice that there's steps per millimeter here for your X, Y, Z, and your extruder. Right now, I've got mine set to 184.5. Now, my stepper motors are stepping at 30 seconds stepping, so these numbers will probably be different for you. Um, if you're using 16th stepping with 20 tooth pulleys, this would be 80, but since I'm using 30 seconds stepping, it's 160. For this case, on the extruder, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down to 183.5, and I'm going to hit Save to EEPROM. Save to EEPROM, yes. It always seems to pop up some other window. And... Okay, now you have to do a home because it resets everything. Then you gotta come back over here. It'll be a little hard because I have to use both hands to do this. So I'm gonna sit you down for one second. But what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna pull the extrusion back out this direction just by pressing this here. Well, maybe I can do it. No, I can't, okay. I'll sit you down for just one second. Okay, so we reset 100 millimeters on the filament. And I'm going to come back over here and we're going to hit extrude again. And we're going to see what happens. You can tell this is just a matter of trial and error for the most part. 
That's very, very close. But it's still gone in ever so slightly. You can see the mark right there now, but it looks like it's about one and a half millimeters too far. Now, you could probably do that mathematically, but I'm just going to keep on reiteratively changing that number until it works out just right. It makes it a lot simpler for me since I'm not mathematically inclined. And there you have it. That's how I set my steps per millimeter for my extruder. Thanks for watching.